early when I finally got in. And the first person I meet is a fellow member owner who's male who was allowed in on a membership in his wife's name. So this was specifically just aimed at me because I'm female. That's outrageous. It shouldn't happen ever. And if you look at the bylaws, it says something about membership in a household and that neither any member of the household can vote that membership. So you shouldn't be barring people from choosing depending on who you own the membership with. And I would like the board to address that. That's my opinion. Excellent. Excellent. Discrimination at, against the second person. Sure I would say people are told when they sign up for electrical service that they're not going to be allowed to have any, any effect on their membership. I want, I want to sign up. I want to address this because I want to respond to your accusation, but I think that we need to talk about this back in the meeting. Yeah, I think it needs to be fixed. Anybody, anybody in the household who comes to this meeting and thinks the other is driving 90 minutes to get to a meeting certainly should not be barred, no matter whether they're male or female. So what I came here to talk about was, um, I, like many of the members of IREA, happened to live in the interstream and fire district. We had the lovely experience of discovering that our volunteer fire chief stole $600,000 from our fire department with an annual budget of $900,000 last year. This happened because the board members completely abdicated their responsibility and none of them was looking at the finances. If any of them had read even their audits for three years running, they would have seen they were running out of money. And they didn't figure out they'd lost two-thirds of the year's budget until they completely ran out of cash to run the fire district. We were very lucky we didn't have a fire in Sequoia, but it kept it happening. So, in the interest of transparency, I would like to ask that the board consider several changes. Um, one is that I think the financial information should be published and should be on the website as it occurs. So monthly reports of the board should be published on the website, and the, and the audits should be published on the website. Mr. Mooney was very kind to give me the actual the audits recently, but the easy thing to do is put them on the website. The more people who look at this stuff, the better chance we have of finding problems before they become disastrous. I've worked in foreign countries, and I can tell you that that's the biggest thing the United States has going for it in fighting corruption is that we have mostly transparent information. Um, secondly, uh, on the board meetings I've attended, um, there are a number of rules that come across as being rude, and I would like to ask the board to consider changing them. Uh, people allow people to speak, but you didn't allow questions and answers. And People come to these meetings and speak, and we get answers to questions, and they ask if we should allow people to ask questions. Um, I also think it's very important that you allow members who come to board meetings to have access to the board packet. It's very hard to understand what board members are talking about when they say, gee, I don't like Section 3A, and you have no idea what Section 3A is. There may be specific things in the board packet that you need to be discussing in executive session, you can pull that out into a separate section of the board packet, but most of what you're talking about, you're talking about in front of the board members, your board members ought to be able to understand, and you can't do that if you don't have a copy of the packet. So I'd like to ask you to consider changing that. Uh, and finally, um, I'd just like to echo what the previous speaker said uh, about the many, many changes in development 
like elaborating what to do with them. Um, if the price of renewables are dropping rapidly, that means the value of energy is changing. And I think the board should make a consistent annual evaluation of what's the value of energy. And just to make you look and say, is it changing in light of everything that's happening in our industry? Let's take a look every year and just make sure that it stays in that 